Hi, my name is Valerie Vaughn, and I'm a singer and a songwriter, but most of all, I'm a storyteller here at the Tuckerton Seaport. Singing and storytelling and combining the two is an old folk art that goes back hundreds and probably thousands of years. And folk arts are so important to us all, especially at this time when we're home in our, in our homes and can't get out too much. Uh, music is something everyone can do in their home, singing along to someone else. And some of us might want to try to do our own music because we're folks also. Folk music just means it's music of simple, regular folks like you and me. Even without lots of music lessons, you could play the game of rhyming words and making up rhythms. So I'll show you how I do it, okay? Here's a little rhyme on the word, the rhyme of fun and day, okay? And we come up with a song called, We're Having Fun in Old Tucker Ton. And things are okay on the Barnegat Bay. Things are okay. having fun wherever you are in Old Tuckerton, but you can make up your own rhymes. And if you put them to a beat, you've got a song. Um, if you think of all the good old songs we know, that's how they work, right? Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are you. That could be a song. But um, just think about that. Think about rhymes and putting rhythm to your rhymes. But before I go, here's a little game you can also play. Here's a song about how our flowers grow in spring and summer and how you could be a flower, okay? Wherever you are, you can just kind of get down on your knees on the floor, tuck your head in up behind your hands, make believe you're a little seed. And as the song tells you to grow, I want to see you stretch up really tall, arms out, tippy toes, and be the best flower you can be. Someone else in your house could be the rain and the sun, because that's what you need to grow. So here's a little song I made up about it many years ago. What makes the pretty flowers grow? I often wonder why. They creep up through the ground below and reach up to the sky. What makes the pretty flowers grow? They're growing one by one. Could it be the melting snow or the warmth of the sun? Well, first comes the rain. And then comes the sun. We're watching pretty flowers grow. Oh boy, isn't this fun? We're watching pretty flowers grow. Oh boy, isn't this fun? Well, I hope you're all great big flowers now. It's certainly a beautiful spring turning into summer. Have a great time. Make up some rhymes. Put them to some beats and see what you can do. Anybody can be a folk musician. Have a great day. Hey everyone, so I'm going to show you how to make three different instruments in this video today. The first is a kazoo. The second is a drum. And the third is a shaker. 
So keep watching, I'll show you the materials you need, mostly recycled, and how to make them all. So the first instrument I'm gonna show you how to make is a DIY kazoo. Now this one looks a little different than a regular kazoo, but it'll still make a similar sound. So for materials, you'll need a paper towel roll or a toilet paper roll, either one works, a piece of wax paper, and a rubber band. That's all you need to make the kazoo. And then just whatever materials you wanna to use to decorate. Um, I have some colored paper and some markers that I'm gonna use. So that's the first step is to decorate your kazoo. Okay, so now that I've decorated my kazoo, I'm ready to assemble it. So I can take my wax paper and put it over one end like that and then take my rubber band and wrap it around there so it's secure now this is the side you'll blow into you need one more thing is to make a hole somewhere in the paper towel roll so you can have an adult do that with scissors or a needle all right, so I have my hole and then I can try out my kazoo. You just sing or hum into this end and it should make a sound. So the second instrument that I'm gonna show you how to make is a shaker. So for this, you'll need two cups or these are just yogurt containers I recycled. Um, just two of something that can go together like that um, and some beads and some tape. And again, whatever you want to use to decorate. So for this one, the first step is we're going to pour our beads into one of the cups. And if you don't have beads, you could also use dried beans or dried lentils, something like that. That will still make noise. Um, and so pour them into one side and then just line up your second cup with the top. And this is where the tape comes in. You'll just tape around the seam, make sure it's nice and tight so your beads don't fall out. All right, so once you have that seam taped together, you can test out your shaker. Make sure it makes a sound. And then all you have left to do is to decorate it. Now once you've decorated your shaker, it's all done and ready to be used. Okay, so for our third instrument, it's going to be a type of drum that we spin. So you're going to need some type of lid, or you could also use an empty ribbon container, something circular that um, will make noise when you hit it. You'll need a skewer or even an old pencil or straw, um, ribbon, two beads, some tape, and some scissors. So pretty simple materials. And the first step, you'll want to cut your ribbon to less than two lengths across your um, lid. That'll be an important measurement later. So you have your ribbon, then you can add your beads to it. So the beads will be one on each end of the ribbon. So string your bead on and just tie a knot so it doesn't fall off. Okay, so you have your ribbon with beads. Then you'll need tape to attach your ribbon to the lid. Make sure it's pretty centered. And you wanna make sure your tape goes to each side of your lid like that. So now when we put it on the stick, it's gonna hit back and forth like that. If it's not making noise, maybe our string is too long. Um, so test that out first. So once you have that attached, you can add your stick, tape it on, make sure it's secure. Then you can decorate your 
instrument. So you might want to cut a piece of paper to cover your lid um, or paint over it or color it, something like that. So once you have it decorated, then you can test it out. Just put it between your two hands like that flat and rub it back and forth. Now that your instruments are all finished, you can play songs with them, create a band, and don't forget to upload photos or videos and send them to the seaport.